Hello and welcome to Crush Yoga. My name is Ria. I want to share a personal story with you. So this morning I was sending my kids off at school and I realized while sending them out, I was yelling a lot. I was like, come on, fifth, you gotta move. <laughs> and then, then when they were left, I'm like, Phew. why did I wake up and start yelling <laughs> right from the beginning of the morning? <sighs> Maybe you can recognize this if you don't have kids, maybe something else you can get just out of your mind about the traffic or whatever, right? So this is actually why I decided to do this morning meditation or this movement practice on joy and letting go of stress and whatever you feel like you are wearing <laughs> your emotional suit today going to be a full class. If you have a block, you might want to bring it if you know that your hamstring is a little bit tight. If not, we're going to start starting today. Now I'll invite you to actually get some distance in between your feet, so wider than a traditional mountain pose. Close your eyes and you can let your palms face forward if that feels good in your shoulders. And then either stand completely still or just move a little bit with your hip, shoulders, your neck. And make sure you take in deep breaths. And maybe sigh out. Now well, the Bible that I enjoy reading, get challenged by reading, often actually talks about rejoicing or giving praise or worship, positive words. And I think maybe <laughs> the Bible mentions that over and over, both in the New and the Old Testament, because we need to hear it multiple times. And of course, you can't just be joyful because you're told to be joyful, but we can practice. And practice bringing the things that we're grateful for, that we know fills us with joy into our mind, and maybe giving that up to God as well, if you believe in God. So maybe think of one thing right now. It can be a faith thing. It can be an everyday thing that gives you joy. <sighs> then let your heels reach a little bit in so that your toes are tracking out. Warming up, sitting down, crossing the arms in front of us. And as you inhale, you rise up, bring the arms up overhead, crossing the arms here. Exhaling, squatting down. Inhaling, rising up. Soft arms, you can close your eyes if you want. And you can use your Ujjayi -e breath, Ujj -e breath if you like. Like snoring, exhaling sound. Keep moving. We'll have some hopefully joyful music going going on. Maybe you can hear it. One last time down and up. And bring your hands down by your side. Maybe you get your feet even wider apart. Again, we're gonna flow a little bit like, like the wave or the water, the waves. <laughs> so here from side to side, or maybe getting your arms in involved as well. And go soft, don't need to go deep. We're still kind of warming up. your knees, your hips, 
your arms are making noises as long as it doesn't give you pain or something like that just maybe think that they're giving praise right <laughs> they want to join in <laughs> Now, I don't know which direction you were on your mat, but you will step back, downward facing dog. And here, even move your hip. Maybe find a bit of an awkward down dog, whatever that looks like. We kind of do a lot of back, back bending, opening up our chest. I feel like that's a very joyful move. Now flow into your plank, get your knees down on the mat somewhere, maybe extra support with a blanket or something. Come up on your knees, draw your hands up and lean slightly back, moving your hips slightly forward. Make your butt to move down towards the heels, maybe sitting down like this. Then lean forward, let your hands reach the mat in tabletop, right leg, left arm, reach forward in this bird dog. And then knee, elbow in towards each other, make sure you reach the spine up. Plant your hands down. I would go a little bit further to the front with my hands because we're gonna go into down dog again. Doing that one more time. Moving into plank on your knees. Bring your arms down and back, opening up. Bring your arms up overhead. So keep the arms shoulder width distance as you lean back. I have my toes tucked under. Sitting down on the heels. You don't have to go all the way if your knees doesn't really like that. Use your thighs as you tilt forward, maybe being a little bit slow and get your hands down. Left leg, right hand, bird dog. Crossing it in. Downward facing dog. All right. Think of something that's movable. Maybe it's your favorite animal or a tree or whatever. And something that you really enjoy in nature. And bring that, whatever inspires you from that, into this small sequence. That's an odd thing to do, but try. <laughs> so if your dog that you like, you get inspired by, bring you joy. What would a dog do if it could do something like this, right? So move, plank, knees down. I'm inspired by the wave, so I'm gonna go soft. I'm not cueing as much, so just do your thing. From the heels down, tabletop, right leg, left arm if you're there. Knee. Down dog. One more time on the other side. Plank on your knees. Bring your hands back. <sighs> Sit down on your heels, toes tucked or not. Tabletop, navel in, left leg, right hand, knee elbow, down dog. All right, step your feet to the front and hang forward. Now, sometimes, at least in my life, when I get bad mood <laughs> it's often something to do with me losing a 
least uh, some part of perspective on my life. Forgetting the importance of the things that I do in my everyday life, be it the small things, the big things. I forget my own worth. Rolling up mountain here at the top of your mat. Put a smile on your face. It's okay if it feels a little bit a little bit fake, but go with it. Maybe overdo your smile. <sighs> and let's do a smiley face with our arms as well. So you stay put. I'm just gonna show you. Look at this smiley face, right? And then you can maybe lean back and smile. Now, if you believe in God, you might smile towards God and say, even though I don't feel like it, maybe I'm going to smile. <laughs> All right, bring your arms out, stand tall, and then fold forward, fingers on the floor or the block. Lift the right leg up and back and go for a hip opener. So kind of a split in a forward fold. You can hold on to the ankle or just feet on the floor. Let the nose reach down towards the standing leg. And then come down with the right leg on the floor, warrior two. So short enough the mat with the back foot. And let's float into this side ankle variation, elbow on the thigh. And then let the front arm reach down like the chest is coming aligned with the floor, but the feet are standing and the legs are standing where they are. Reaching forward with the top arm. And then you move back, opening up, bending the front or the top arm there, opening up your chest. Let's do that a few more times. So leaning forward, engage the core. Shorten your stance if you need to. Let open up and lean back. Now the arm on the leg there can stay put. Last two times, or if you wanna throw it out to the side as you lean forward, feeling the front leg there. Go for that. Drag it in by the foot, by the leg. As you do your cactus arm. One last time. Release. Hands on the floor, back heel off. You're gonna take the back left kneecap into the knee joint of the left foot, coming into this awkward balance posture, kind of a twisted chair. Staying for a few breaths. And then find mountain pose. Shake those happy legs out. Now think back again, it can be a faith thing, your faith story, or it can be uh, uh, something else that makes sense in your life, something that you feel joyful about, an experience that you have had. Reach your arms up, do the smiley arms, <laughs> face up, smile, and think of something that, you, that makes you feel happy. A great story, something that encouraged you. have to go super deep and super long fold forward again lift the leg leg up that split variation thing so point the toes go for the nose towards the knee breathe and then lower down the left foot yeah, the distance you prefer in Warrior 2. Maybe you feel the stretch here in the inner thighs. All right, side angle. 
make sure the back foot is all the way down also the outer edge of the foot all right lean in forward maybe you can better see what's going on this time reach the arm forward if you have any core or back issues be mindful pull the arm back cut to the arm bend the elbows 90 degrees take the shoulder blade back the shoulder girdle back again leaning forward reaching out i feel stretched all the way down to my back hip there open up again what do you want to do with the arm on the on the thigh there you want to keep it and you want to throw it out to the side so right arm out to right side and then track it down by the shin we need to do a cactus arm two more times Trying to stand still with my front leg, which is a bit of a challenge. Excellent. Hands down, back foot off. Step the back knee into the girdle there. Still a bit of thigh work. Whew. Awkward chair. mountain <sighs> shake things out one last sequence inhale reach the arms up overhead exhaling folding forward step your feet back downward facing dog make sure you slightly bend your knees and don't have to get the heels down reach the right foot up and back Open up the hip so you'll bend the knee. Breathe. And track the knee, right knee in under your belly and push it out in between the left hand and left foot out to the side there. Finding a little bit of an awkward plank, you can stay put or go for this star, fallen star side plank. Hand down again, lift the right foot up and back like you're kicking it back. And then moving into plank, crossing the right foot over the left ankle. So plank just on one leg. Move it back, three-legged dog, right leg up and back. We're gonna take it, the right foot to the front of the mat. High lunge, hands off the mat. Now this is pretty important as we're going to move the core. Take the pelvis a little bit and under yourself. Make sure that you have a engagement in the core, in the abs. And then we're going to float a little bit from left to right, standing here. That's why I don't want you to arch the back as we do this, because that could cause some pain later on. Super hard, moving from left to right. The nose is pointing forward, direction of the front toes. Almost like I'm steering a big ship here. <laughs> Don't know where that thought came from. And then next time when you're able to go on the inside of the front leg, bring your fingers down, go for a white stance. I like my toes in, head down. Shake it out or stand still for a little bit of a pause here. Before we repeat, step to the front. Fold forward and in your forward fold maybe you think of something in your faith maybe something something about God that you want to say thank you for or worship for if that phrase makes sense mm. 
Then bend your knees, chair pose. Sitting low. Get your hands in prayer pose. And then hinge forward again when you feel like you're fatigued. Step back, down dog. Same procedure, other side, left leg. Here we go, lift it up, bend your knee, open up your hip. Let the shoulders stay put as they would in down dog. The same with the back foot. Fall and star. Take the knee in, shoot the foot out to the side. Also pivot or turn on the back foot. Now you can always choose to come down on your knee or whatever you like here. Both hands down, take the left foot back, three-legged dog. Then cross the foot, the ankle over the other ankle, coming into a plank on one foot. Move back, left leg up, and then left foot to the top end of the mat, high lunge. Reach the arms up, can tuck the pelvis in, maybe that means you're bending the back knees a little bit, the back knee a little bit more. We're gonna go in another direction here. We're gonna move like this, forward. Here you go for a little bit of a back bend, but we want to try to avoid it when we lean forward and when we do side bending. You might follow with your breath. So you exhale as you lean forward, or you might just move. time on each one of these and when you lean forward next time hands on the inside move into wide stand forward fold take the head down <sighs> if you want to go for a headstand or something like it welcome uh, it can be your tripod if you want to so grasp the hand take the, the head down maybe coming up on just your knees, maybe reaching all the way up. So whatever variation of headstand you want to take, gonna practice seeing things from other perspectives sometimes, right? If you want to try this and you want to go by the wall, maybe a pause the video and do that. I'm coming down again. <sighs> and then find child's pose. <sighs> Hands wherever it makes sense, maybe to the front, maybe just by down by your side. Massage your forehead and by that moving your neck. We've done a lot of active dynamic stretching, moving from some of these core side bending postures. Now we're doing do more the passive variation. So take a seat, bring your feet out, toes pointing up. Of course, you can go more narrow. You can put some blocks or blankets underneath your knees. Kind of take the, your left, sorry, your right elbow inside there or wherever you can reach and go for a side bend. So I'm actually kicking my elbow or your hand somewhat into my thigh to lift up here so I'm not leaning my chest inside towards the floor. So if you are to start your morning the best way ever, even though you might have like a ceiling kit you have to get out of the door or whatever stressful morning you might have, how can you start your morning a little bit better? 
by reminding yourself of what is the most important. As you think about that, let's switch side stretch to the other side. I have an, uh, an app with a Bible verse on it. I think it's just called the Bible app. Anyway, it, um, it comes up with a, a Bible verse um, in the morning. So when I reach for my phone in the morning, this scripture or a message about this scripture is the first thing that I see on my phone. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not <laughs> always honoring that as being the first thing I do reading the scripture, but I try to. Um, just because I know that, or I believe <laughs> that that is good for me. Cow face. So take your, can be your right leg at the bottom, left on top. If this does not work with your knees, you might just sit any cross-legged position. We're gonna swap the front leg backwards later on, or top leg, bottom leg. You know what I'm mean saying here. So with this, take your left elbow back or arm back take the right behind either hold on to hair or shirts or fingers if they can reach lean forward if you don't feel anything in your thighs maybe you have three things you write down and maybe change them every week or so a uh, piece of paper like a post-it or something <laughs> that you put by the things you see in the morning so if you turn on the light or whatever you do go to the bathroom you see these three things that you're grateful for maybe that could be helpful cross the leg opposite or awkward side whatever where you're seated so if you like me I'm still mirroring you it will be your left at the bottom right at the top I'm trying to get my knees somewhat on top of each other doesn't matter if it's not completely I'm taking my heels a little bit away from my hip because I want to get my knees a little bit more space I guess I'm kind of crossing a little bit of a twisting right arm at the top left arm at the bottom and then lean forward if it works for you now if the cause of your lack of joy is might be hormonal it might be because you're tired depleted of energy maybe think of God as the fountain of water or the source of joy and hold on to that knowing that loving yourself is just as important as loving other people to do now it's amazing I'm gonna do plow pose now if you have any neck issues your plow will be right here also if you're new to yoga this would probably be about plow if you want to do plow pose please take a look at the screen before you get into it I don't want you to be in the plow pose with feet over your head with your your neck like that okay mind your neck don't want you to hurt yourself okay so just being extra careful here so plow pose take a look don't get into it yet if you want to see what's going on it can be either here with your feet reached or maybe to toes can reach down this will be plow what variation now if you have seen enough it is your turn 
close your eyes so you're not tempted to look at the screen. I'm focusing on relaxing my shoulders. Now, if it feels a little bit painful, I know some people really enjoy having a blanket underneath the neck. That doesn't really get, get me going, so. Um, but again, you're able to pause. That's a great thing with video. Pause the video and make yourself as comfortable as you like. Still keep your eyes closed. If you're in plow pose, bend your knees. Get your knees away from your head. Take your hands behind your hip if they aren't already. Slowly, with still with your eyes closed, don't look at the screen, roll down. You can do this without looking. When you get down, you can look at the screen, but you can also just get your feet down and relax. Not that hard. <laughs> Windshield wide with the feet or the legs. So you open up your spine a little bit and then we'll finish with resting and I'll guide you through a little bit of an appreciation prayer as we are taking our pause together. So come down on the floor in resting pose. So get the feet out and let's be open <laughs> in the sense open towards joy. So I'll say this, and it can be either a prayer or a meditation. That's completely up to your interpretation of this. But I'm speaking to God because he is a lot of the source of joy in my life. God, help us to relax right now. Relax the shoulders, the head, everything. Let's tune in, God, to the joy that I know you can give. Help us to let go of things that take away joy and pleasure. Thank you for the freedom that we have in you. The freedom to choose. The freedom to be living freely, not as victims, but as your child. Thank you for the heart beating in me. For each breath I can take. Thank you for each person that loves me. Thank you also for my opportunity to show love and change people's, other people's lives just to a little bit of a better state or a better place. Thank you, God, for the power that lives in me. The power that I can do anything through you. Thank you that you did not call me to live in fear. But to live in everything that you can, can give. Step by step and day by day. Maybe you continue a little bit before I finish the class.
make sure you stay on the floor on the mat just a little bit longer if you know that is what brings you joy right now if you're ready to move you can wiggle fingers and toes stretch your whole body or windshield wiper the legs again if you like that And then you can take a seat if you're ready. And then I hope and pray that you feel good. <laughs> feel good is not feeling over the top happy, but just, you know, feeling okay. That's also good enough. What really brings me joy and what I also appreciate is you leaving a comment after the videos, sharing these videos with a friend. I would so appreciate that. Uh, I love whenever somebody is writing, you know, uh, this happened and I got this out of your video. It's, it's just, um, it gives me the motivation and joy to continue doing what I do here on YouTube. No pressure though. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you.